Tom Brady was looking for his 200th career win yesterday. Good evening, I'm James Haddon with the NCC Sports Report. Let's pick it up in the second quarter as the Jets are up 3-0. New York from the one-yard line, back shoulder pass, Brandon Marshall with the catch, his third of the season, and that puts NY up 10-0. Tom Brady trying to answer later in the second quarter, takes the snap here and will fumble it, but Brady, cool as the other side of the pillow, tosses it to Marcus Mitchell, touchdown, ties the game at 10-0. Ryan Fitzpatrick later in the fourth quarter trying to continue his villainous role will have a long pass to Quincy Inunua, 50 to Quincy, touchdown, puts NY up, but Tom Brady, I've done this before, I can do it again, throws a second touchdown to Marcus Mitchell and Brady will get the win, 22-17, his 200th career W. The Giants took on the winless Browns in Cleveland this weekend, and the game went as expected. The G-men never trailed in the game as Eli Manning threw for almost 200 yards and three touchdowns, while stud Odell Beckham Jr. had two scores in the 27-13 win. New York moves to 8-3, while Cleveland falls to 0-12. The Bills hosted the Jaguars yesterday and trailed 7-6 at halftime. Let's jump into the action in the third quarter. On the first play from scrimmage, LaShawn McCoy is going to take the ball from Tyrod Taylor, make a couple men miss, and he had a house call to take care of. 75-yard touchdown run for the running back, and that puts them up 13-7. Now with the Jaguars up 14-13 in the third quarter, Tyrod Taylor is going to shake and bake and scamper all the way to the end zone for a 7-yard touchdown run. But the Jaguars would not go away. Tyrod Taylor down 21-20, tough pass, slick snag, touchdown time, the Bills, and they win this game 28-21. Finally, driving over to the basketball where the 4-12 Nets hosted the Kings, riding an ice-cold six-game losing streak and looking to turn things around at the Barclays Center. We pick things up in the second quarter. Brooke Lopez will get the ball, smooth look off, the shot's even smoother, puts it in for three. But Brooklyn was down in this game in the fourth quarter, so Brooke Lopez said, I'm going to try to bring them to their feet here in Barclays, does that with that basket. But when it comes to baskets, Rudy Gay knows the best of them. Finds a way to tell the rest of Brooklyn to sit down politely and puts his team up 12. Finally, Sean Kilpatrick trying to do something for Brooklyn, but turns the ball over, Darren Collison, and one. And that's going to do it. Game time, Brooklyn wins 122-105. And that will do it for NCC Sports. I'm James Hadnot.